All right, guys, we are back with some more Game of Thrones, and today the trophies will be regular, and we won't be all messed up. So, rendezvous is what we'll be collecting, and obviously we don't have it, so I don't have to do extra work. And I don't know what's going to happen, so it's going to be fun. Griff White. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof. Soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But we can only take this occupation for so long. Our people will break. And the way Griff Whitehill came in, that's clearly what he wants. Whether he rides out on horseback... Ends up in the ground. Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. Very good, my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We need to look at all the pieces. Whitehill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here, to high point. How do we kill a snake then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. He carved these soldiers himself. Ramsay Snow killed Ethan. What's to stop the White Hills from doing the same to Ryan at High Point? You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. We gotta save Ryan. We get Ryan out and bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. And what of Griff and his men? But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then. It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? My lord, there may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. Lord Whitehill's daughter? The very same. After the hells that came from her and Asher? Despite all that, she's willing to meet with you. I may not be your sentinel, 
But please consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. When the time comes. Fuck. Gotta get on her side. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Mira, are you listening to me? Lady Marjorie, good tidings to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira, a word in private, if I may. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen, and if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't think Lady Marjorie likes me. Although, after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. What did you want, my lord? Uh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Ironwood. A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. Today of all days, you know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. But... I'll deal with you after the wedding. Come with me, Sarah. Whatever. Garrett. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people passed through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I know you had told me you could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend, if it came to it. And you were in trouble north of the wall. Any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Finn can handle himself. I'd bring him to a fight. I'm glad you can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor. Corliss Wells from Stony Sept. And finally, we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Britt Warwick of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this one blast. to the Boltons. It'll be a hot meal in the mess hall. After that, we'll be sorting out gear at the armory. Garrett. Be practice swords to Garrett, start. what's the master? You know him. Come on! Get moving! Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you regret. Yeah. 
If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the war for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the wall. Brother, looking forward to it. That's enough. I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. Damn. This isn't fair. We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you, but it never should have affected me like this. You just don't get it, Sarah. I've been fighting for my family's lives here, and what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved them. Whether you have a seat at the wedding just isn't as important. I see. Well, I hope it was worth it, because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> I probably shouldn't have even told you, but I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah! It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is about you. It's funny how things change, isn't it? It must be hard for you. Oh shit. Look, it wasn't too long ago. I was asking for your help with Marjorie, and you were there for me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. You just need to ask. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. And I can't let you. I'm not going to beg you. I can handle Marjorie on my own. You're wrong, Mira. We need each other. But if you don't feel the same by this point... Fine. Look! The pie! Oh no! They're already serving the pie. Oi! We're missing everything. I know you. You were in the gardens the other night, with Damien. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. So what if I was with him? Don't... Uh... Seven hells. <sighs> you there, girl. I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. That ironwood was stolen from my family. It was never yours to sell. Spoken with strength, my lady. But still, I wonder if you're ready to play this game. All right, guys, we're back. Game. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. 
I know he has a plan. Which I assume was about undermining your own. Oh, I have no doubt that was part of it. Yet Tyrion Lannister is more clever by half. He only brought you into that throne room to turn us against each other. To get the cheapest ironwood from you. He played you. Played us all. My little toys. Do you think it matters to me what he paid or why he chose me? My family won. That's all I care about. And that, my lady, is why I'm talking to you. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? Like there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Is that something you'd be interested in? An alliance can mean many things, my lord. I would be a fool to say yes without knowing what I was saying yes to. Wisely put. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lud Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in a... I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. You understand? I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear. Perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. you expect? Tom! What in seven hells do you think you're doing up here? What are you thinking? You've got to leave. Now. Tom, I'm in trouble. There's something inside I need to get. If I don't, it's going to be a nightmare. Damn it. Whatever trouble you're in could be trouble for me too. So what do we do? I have an idea. The terrace. The what? I could maybe climb across the roof and drop down onto the outside terrace. It's just... I don't know, Mira. Is whatever's in there really worth risking my life for? It's not just kings who die stupidly round here. Tom, I really need your help here. I can't do this alone. Just be careful. Wait here. I'll be at the door before you know it. Just what do you think you're doing here? You shouldn't be anywhere near this place. Don't you know the imp has murdered the king? I... I was just... I just needed to get away. After everything that's happened, it was terrible. I'm sure you did. I'm not going to ask you again. Oi! Whoever's in there, I command you to open this door at once, in the name of the king! 
You don't move. Tom, it's me. Hurry. Gods, that was close. I almost didn't make it back down here. Some tiles on the roof came loose. Tom, we have to hurry. I'm looking for a piece of paper. A royal decree. Well, go on. That Lannister guard could be back with help any second. I'll keep watch outside the door. Tom! You can do this. He said that it would be on his desk. It's the bill for the wedding. This is more money than I could spend in a lifetime. Oh, nothing. Just a letter from Tywin Lannister. Tyrion's strongbox. Oh, it must be in here. Mira, I think the Lannister guard is back. It's the other one. Damn it. Hide. I'll find a way to distract them. <coughs> I'm telling you, I heard someone in here. Search the place. We'll find them. And after, now that we've got the imp's keys, we can have a little look inside his lockboxes, eh? <laughs> Aye. I lit a tapestry on fire, down the hall. I bought you a minute, maybe two. Oh, thank you. Did you find it? Oh, I think... I think it has to be in here. Oh, it has to be. Oh! Come on! <gasps> it worked! Is this? Oh, thank the gods! Oh, I found it! Finally! Let's go! Who? Oh, bring their bloody neck! Oh my! We're not far now. Gwyn Whitehill may already be there. What is this? Our ironwood trees. It's the White Hills. Do you see what they've done? This track was hundreds of years old. And they reduced it to nothing. Before this is done, we'll make them pay. Every last one of them. I, the White Hills, need to answer for this. Damn. And Gwyn needs to answer for this. But we need to find out what she knows. She'll be over there. Be cautious. This is a long ass episode. If she go around her father to help us, she must have some purpose. She's taken a risk in meeting. Let me hear what she has to say before I should your reasons. Of course. Just be wary. You see what her family's done here? Here. You might want this. You may have known each other since you were children. Doesn't hurt to be careful. Go on. I'll stay with the horses. Split beams, cracked wheels, shoddy workmanship. Clearly the might is. Where's she at though? This well. I remember hiding down there. 
playing monsters and maidens with little Naaman in them. Megan. <laughs> Hmm, I can still smell the sawdust. <laughs> Hear the whining of the grindstone. Such a part of my early years. So long ago. I see you haven't lost your warrior's ways. That's good. I wouldn't want to deal with someone careless. Hello, Gwyn. It's... It's been so long since we've met, Roderick. It has. It was before your father found out about you and Asher. Before he stormed Ironrath. You saw my father's work over there, didn't you? And he won't stop. He means to do that to every inch of your land. Damn your father. He's laid waste to this land. My land. I'll have my vengeance for this. I brought you here so that you would see what's happening. So there's no need to make threats against my father. I come as a friend. Do you? Yes, I do. <sighs> I wasn't sure you were even going to show. We're taking a risk, meeting like this. Unfortunately, it's the way it has to be. Well, okay. So let us get to the business that brings us here. Yes. We should get on with it. I think we can help each other. But first, I... I've heard news of Asher. That he plans to return to Ironrath. Why is he coming back? I loved him once. I longed for Asher to come back. But not like this. If you must know, he's bringing us an army. You may think that's going to help your family. But it will only lead to more killing. I want peace between our families. No more wars. No more bloodshed. Is that what you want to? I need to hear you say it, Roderick. Will you work with me to bring an end to this war? Yes. Peace means my family will be safe. Of course that's what I want. The years have blessed you with wisdom, Roderick. And it is good you have it. Because peace is the only hope your family has. My father is just waiting for an excuse to attack. Why do you think he sent my brother? So there will be trouble. My father will bring utter ruin on your house. Unless... you let Griff feel like he's in control. Just like you kissed my father's ring. You must show the same respect to Griff. I won't bend the knee or bite my tongue. Not in my own house. Don't be a fool. There is so much more at stake here than just your pride. My lord, a band of riders approach from the north. Seven hells. My father's guards must be tracking me. If they catch us here, they'll kill you. Then we've no time to waste. Let's get on with it. My father is planning to make a move against your family. I don't know all the details, but he's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. I fear for your family, Roderick. You may think you've nothing more to lose. He is ready to show you otherwise. And what's more, he knows exactly how weak you are. What? How? Because you have a traitor in your council. Someone who knows every detail of your circumstances. My father boasts of it. You must tell me. Who is it? I don't know. We know you're planning to rescue Ryan, even if it means abandoning your home to Griff. What? My father's guards are close. I need to know you'll do what I've asked. Promise me you'll submit to Griff. If you want peace between our families, it's the only way. That all depends on how Griff carries himself. You'll let my brother decide? Then clearly, you have given yourself over to slaughter. There's been enough killing. I hope you do your part. My lord, those riders are nearly upon us. We have to go. What I told you. Be careful what you do with it. And remember, I'll hear about it if you don't. My lord? Come along, Duncan.
Oh shit. Rendezvous. That was a long ass episode. 30 minutes. Damn. <coughs> 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 oh my god. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new here. I love you guys.